see him getting around the back of everything here. Yeah, just took his eye off the pot, you feel? He's a red, he can knock one onto the other. I think that's the red that uh, he can play and knock onto the one near the corner pocket and get the cue ball back up the table. The red's not right in the jaw, so he's got to just be a little bit careful. He played at the pace, because as John mentioned, the red was slightly away from the pocket, so he gave the pace every chance for the ball to take, the pocket to take the ball harder, that could have uh, not gone in that red. So he weighed up all the options there, and played it perfectly. Might play a little cannon again here, one onto another, just to bring that red into play. Seven. Yeah, a little, little plans here. Not certain, well, he'd probably play for the pink in the left middle. I don't think it goes into the opposite corner. Eight. He's just let that cue ball slip away slightly. He's still on the pink, but slightly hampered. Funny, John, isn't it? Now, that was a half a little kick there. It was a dead white, wasn't it? It's one of those, if he runs it through naturally without the kick, that cue 14. ball would have been tough to get on the red. Because it was a dead shot, all of a sudden it's pulled up in time for the red. So sometimes a kick can help you. There's many times, though, it doesn't. Fifteen. <laughs> Get this blue on the spot would be nice. Twenty. Yes, this will be a body blow for Stuart Benjamin Fronny. Makes a sizable break here because 21. going into the interval eight five behind, it's tough to see him winning the match. Going into the interval seven six behind. He himself would believe he could win it. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. Not an ideal table, this, which is why he's had to go up for the blue, but just the pace of it to perfection. But it's still a type of situation, you just need to play a couple of nice positional shots. I think he was hoping for a fuller ball contact there and then play a red to the left corner. He knew he'd have this one to the right corner. Is the black available? And if it was, would you want to risk playing pinpoint position for the black? Fair play to him, he's given it every due care and attention, which is what the situation needs. Well, he's deciding on this red, I'm not certain what colour he's going to have to play for here. 33. Well, it's difficult to generate the pace, but it's okay. He's just about on this blue. Yeah, certainly second prize, wasn't it? Play for the blue in the middle. I think the only reason he played that red is to clear the pocket for the black to go into the corner. He's now got Yeah, and of course we don't even mention it anymore. He played it left-handed. 
Quite remarkable. You hardly notice it, John, now, do you? As you rightly say, you, you know, because he's so proficient in that department. Some people laugh at you when I say that Ronnie could possibly be not... Maybe top 16 would be hard to s surmise, but 46. certainly a top 32 player left-handed. Yeah. Well, of course, how people's 47. attitudes change. When he first started playing left-handed, I remember he played Alain Robidoux, the Canadian, and he accused him of bad sportsmanship and said it wasn't good for the game and he had a big inquiry. 54. But, listen, if, if you've got that in your armoury, why not use it? 55. So the brakes continue to roll off the cues of both players. Yes, there's only been one frame 62. that was frame four that Stuart levelled the match at where there wasn't a break of a 40. Every frame, especially the last seven frames now, with this black, it'll be seven consecutive breaks of 70 or above. <coughs> Seems to be a little bit frustrated, 70. Ronnie, at the moment, but that's only because he knows 71. his long game is not good enough. And he's a perfectionist. He likes every department to be good. Top 16 player, left-handed. Do you fancy the clearance left-handed, John? Yeah, a little cannon on the pink off the black. Played to perfection. Well, yes. <laughs> 86. 87. Such a natural talent. <laughs> just, just knocking him in like they're over the pocket left-handed. Aha!